Welcome, I'm Yumi and this is The Vegan Tries. Today we're gonna do something called Willed Gingerbread. So I have got some gingerbread dough. Nobody don't make it myself. And I'm gonna have, well I have some uh, uh, things to put in the dough and we will put them in the oven and see if we will, well, if we will taste good. So let's start with the first flavor. The first flavor will be candy cane or peppermint flavor, if you so will. So I'm just going to put it in here and knead it into the dough. And I'm going to use uh, rolling pin. I guess this is a plastic one that I usually use and let's see if I can make this to uh... a <clears throat> maybe I need some flour because it's really sticky it's a little bit harder when it's something in the dough as well I'm gonna make it into shape of a heart. So, so this is the first one. Candy cane, and I'm gonna save the leftovers. chocolate chips to make a chocolate chip gingerbread Let's see if I can do this without the flour or if I need some this is so much harder when it's something in there This one, I guess, is a little bit thicker. It's okay though. And for our next cookie, we will have some Oreos. It's the original flavor. breaking because of the crumbs from the cookie. This is a cookie cookie. Yep, that will be fine. Mm, it smells so good and I tried the dough and it tastes really good as well. So yummy. Raw cookie dough. Ginger cookie dough. Is this something you usually do in your country uh, that you uh, get, um, you can buy or you can make yourself uh, these um, gingerbread dough and make like thin cookies of them? Um, let me know. Maybe a little bit more. Now we have one flavor left. And it will be Skittles. And this is wild, wild berry flavor. Because that's what I had at home. <laughs> and they are really yummy, as they are. Let's see if I can get this crumbs out of the way from the Oreo. So. 
it's December. Let's have some fun, right? Do some crazy things. <laughs> I'm 39. This is crazy for me. <laughs> Crush one. <laughs> no. Yeah, it worked. So, and let's see those leftovers as well. All right. That's the one with Skittles. And now for a really fun part. With leftovers, let's do a uh, Frankenstein gingerbread cookie and see how that will taste. All four of the flavors together. I have put the oven on so I hope it will be hot soon and when uh, when uh, they have cooled down, we will do a taste test, which is the most fun part. I hope I really get everything in there now. Maybe I can make two of these actually because it's a lot of a lot of it. Maybe I should make it thinner. It should probably be about the same size. Then they will cook equally. Because this will also rise a little bit in the oven. <laughs> this is a bit fiddly. Here I can see Skittles and I can see a chocolate chip and I can see Oreo. So let's put it here for the Frankenstein cookie. So cool, cool. I put this one down here so I know which one is which. If you hear a noise, it's probably my guinea pig that says that he wants something. Probably vegetables. He knows the time. <laughs> he says, Mommy, it's time for my veggies. See you soon. I bet it's good that he makes noises. That means he's probably healthy, right? So, yeah. I'll probably do another one and I see you soon for the taste test. The gingerbread cookies are done. Let's see how they taste. Let's start with the candy cane. The mint one. I might have burned them slightly because they got done really fast. Hmm. I don't taste a lot of um, peppermint, so that's a shame. But it's good, as it is. Let's see if the chocolate chip is better. This one hasn't, this was a sticker, so it doesn't really have like a bit, um, doesn't have um, 
a crunch to it. I like my cookies crunchy. Doesn't taste a lot of chocolate either. <laughs> Let's go to the Oreo one. Yeah, it's a bit crunchier. I can taste them um, slightly the Oreo, but not that well. And this is the um, I forgot what it's called. Um, Skittles one. Hmm. This one has the most flavor so far. Tastes good. And for your friend in cooking. See if I can get it all, everything in one. I'm not sure. In this one, I could taste it separately. Like in one bite, I could uh, taste the Skittles and one bite the um, candy cane flavor more. But it's not bad. I mean, I don't taste a lot of it, but it's not bad. It tastes good. So, to answer the question, will the gingerbread? Yes, but I just didn't put enough flavor into them. So, if you're gonna try this at home, put more than you think in there so it will have to do it. All right, see you next time, and uh, we will see what happens then. Bye. Um, I didn't, I did another Franken cookie. Um, and I might have overdone it a little bit. <laughs> so here's the uh, candy cane, and here's the um, uh, Oreos, and here's the chocolate chips. This is the gingerbread. It's very thin, so yeah, it tastes a lot of bits. Yeah, and this looks like ham, but it's candy cane. Yeah.